Right, I'm gonna need you guys to be completely honest with me because when I was watching the live stream, me and Antha were on a call and we obviously we were watching it together. And the first thing that came out of my mouth when I was watching this gameplay of Go was that, yeah, he doesn't come across as too hype in terms of skill look wise. It feels lackluster. Am I the only one who's seen this? Like, to be fair, I don't know what I was expecting um, or what I really wanted, but just kind of seeing the effects and whatnot and his movements, etc., I'm just like, I don't know. I was. Maybe I was hoping for something a little bit more flashy. His ultimate too, I mean, the, the, the initial intro charge up of it, I mean, that's dope. But then, I don't know, uh, I think I was more hoping on the line of like him kind of like jumping up and maybe like smashing the ground or something. But um, yeah, am I the only one? I, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit of a lackluster. That's all, that's all. In terms of what the character does, who knows? Maybe he's broken, but in terms of look wise, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But things have changed now because uh, it seems that some people are having second thoughts. What do I mean by that? So if you guys haven't heard, which most of you guys probably have heard, I mean, I've already spoken about it, but Go has been changed. His role is no longer attacker. He is no longer deep. Well, technically, you can do a little bit of DPS into him, right? Um, but he is a tank. He is a light type tank, which is, I guess, that's a good thing because, I mean... Having him and then obviously Chai Yen, I mean, it just kind of makes it so that he can fit in quite nicely with Chai Yen. Because Chai Yen is still a fantastic character, even though with the recent update that they've done, for some reason she isn't performing as well as she was before. I don't know if anyone else has been having that issue. So I'm hoping with the update next week, things correctly, like get get fixed, because she is just not doing the, 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 the numbers that she has been doing before the previous update. Am, am I the only one who's been having that issue? Anyway, um, so he is going to be a breaker. Now, weirdly enough, the one thing which I requested for Go originally was, oh, I, I hope he has breakage. That was my actually first thing that I actually uh, wanted from this character. Obviously, when I found out he was in a DPS fighting character, that kind of went out the window. But lo and behold, they went back. Well, actually, I don't even know if they originally thought he was going to be a, a tank slash breaker. But regardless, that is exactly what he is. Now, the reason why I spoke about it was because I kind of want a hunter that can provide us with that almighty break. Because again, as it stands right now, when it comes to breakage, the most breakage we can gain from a hunter is heavy break, right? We haven't seen the likes of anyone being able to apply the almighty break. Obviously, when it comes to almighty break, it's only available for the ruins and it's a first arise festival it's a tank it's a breaker it only fits i mean to be fair for go this to me is kind of picture perfect for, 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 for him to deal almighty break they'll probably make it so that it's available on his second skill if they choose to go down this route and make it also available on his support skill so that could be a huge thing but as it stands he is a breaker sorry he is a tank and so he is clearly going to be replacing you know, that's that's my take on it. I feel like there's more breakage power from him, I want to say. I mean, well, then again, you know, himself is doing medium to heavy break in, in, in having that defense decrease. So begs the question on what Go will be doing. But uh, I feel like when it comes to... Because realistically... Wait, hold on a minute. Realistically, majority of the new characters that we've had have been DPS. The only other one that we haven't had has been support. So... This is going to be our first rate up um, tank character. Oh yeah, oh de okay, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to do something for him. 100%. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I, I've only just realized that. Because we've got a good idea on what supports are doing slash healers. We've got a very, very good idea on how they can go about DPSs and whatnot. Tank, on the other hand, we've never seen anything get added, new wise. Especially catering to the level where things are right now. So. Um, I think we're in for a treat now obviously they are giving it a copy of go for free um, which is fantastic and a lot of people are happy about that now obviously they are giving a copy of go for free by the way I completely misread this uh, initially so pretty much the day logins will start on the 15th on a Thursday and uh, we will get go on the day of his banner release so unfortunately we're not going to know ahead of time what this man is doing unless they choose to give us the info on next on, on next week's live stream 
um, where we get the full information on what's going to be happening with the update, of course. So uh, I thought we were going to get an early look so that way we can kind of um, assess on what we should do. But um, yeah, so that, that's that, that that's the case on that one. Um, but anyway, coming back to Go himself. Um, so obviously he's a tank. We're getting a free copy. That could, does kind of alleviate the pressure on having the option now for some to potentially pull for Hansen. Not only that, I know that with the information of Go being given out for free and obviously him being a tank now, um, people are catering to Amamiya in terms of uh, pushing for her A3. A3, if you guys don't know, is the sweet, sweet spot for Amamiya. If you can get it to A3, because obviously in the, uh, when it comes to A3, when she's using a basic uh, attack or core attack, um, she charges her MP and power gauge by 1%. Um, as well as reducing the cooldown of her skill. Once you get A3, you're you're basically on demon mode. That way you've got your wind DPS uh, rock and rolling now that we know that tank is going to be releasing for light, as well as the character releasing next week is going to be Hansemi, and clearly she is going to be catering for Amamiya, as well as the wind uh, characters in general, and potentially the uh, any other character, depending on what her support uh, class allows her to do. So yeah, it really does kind of open up now to potentially go for the initial copy for Han Semi, so that way you've got her. And I mean, yeah, if you've got uh, an Amamiya and if you are pushing for her A3, or I mean, even if you've got like an A1 state, of course, then I think going for the initial copy for uh, Han Semi might be uh, a nice choice to make. So that way you've got that support play going on, as well as that healing coverage. I mean, again, that skill where she's got the whole field covered, that I've that, that that as I've stated, once we know full information on what that's providing, that could be a big big seller. But just because how much pressure they've kind of, um, I guess, taken off us for Go by giving us a free copy. Now that he's a breaker, um, you know, we we, we we have his initial role on what he's going to be doing. In terms of his breakage power, it's going to be set within his skill set. So I think if that's what we're catering to, then we're kind of fine. So I'm, I'm curious to see on what they'll do to sell him in terms of his dupe passives. Wait, hold on a minute. I'm looking at this gameplay. I'm looking at Go and I'm just like, why is he very similar to how Jinchil works in terms of his movements and animations? Damn. Damn. <laughs> well, damn. All right. Well, there we go. That, that, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. So yeah, animation wise, slightly disappointing. Um, I understand that again a few people want to go for A3 Hunt um, Abamir which is absolutely fine at that point you'll have your wind damage um, ready to rock and roll because you'll have the consistency. Han Semi if that is the case if you do have Abamir to A1 to A3 then obviously you get the initial copy goes going to be given out for free which is fantastic we'll have the initial breakage power spot on we'll see what the dupe passives are applying so obviously at that point you guys can keep a few summons at the ready. Now if you really 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 are hell bent on uh, fully catering to the breakage for light um, because of go then at the end of the day what you can do is clearly um, relax on going for Han Semi unless you want to go for the initial copy that's completely understandable because her initial kit will straight off the bat support Amamiya it's just how it is um, and then fully catering on who you want to go for more uh, you can decide when go banners releases because go and Han Semi's banner will be released and still available at the same time that might be the sm uh, smart way to go about it um, but yeah, Amamiya A3 has opened up for a lot of people now. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah.